Hello there, this is Anil Parvez and welcome to R Swift for Beginners course. And in this course, we are going to make this uh, amazing task manager application. And I got this design for Sketch from a free resource called Sketch App Resources. And this is the free design and it's a complete template and we can use it for open source and for free for any purpose. So this is the design and these are the screens that we are going to make and in this video we are going to make a complete setup and we are going to understand what is uh, development for Swift and for iOS applications and how to set up a complete project for Xcode and how to download and how to set up a complete application for you to get started let's right, jump right into it so I have this uh, design with me and I have exported all the important assets like logo and icons in a separate folder so that you can understand that how we are gonna be manufacturing this app and uh, second thing that we are going to be using spe special fonts because this design is using special fonts like this this is in some kind of Aminir font and we have the specific TTF and OTF files here and we are going to include this application uh, these fonts into our applications so let's make our new project in Xcode let's start with the new project and uh, let's make a single view application and let's name the application as we already have the name of the application that is a candy task manager app so I'm gonna name it candy task manager app and you can name it whatever you want and uh, you know that <coughs> uh, Xcode is by itself is it's gonna make the package name uh, com dot whatever the name of your company or your organization whatever the name you want to put there you can change it here and it's going to name it like that and uh, don't worry about all other these options specifically this one you need to make it swift because we are going to do this course in swift and we are going to use storyboards other the other than these options we don't need it right now so you can unselect them so we can save this project somewhere so our project is set up now let's let me get through to the files that on the left side these are this is our file navigator and in the middle this is our main section and if we go on this section this is going to show us all the settings and whatever the uh, whatever the settings and the build settings we need to do are here our package name our version our app signing you don't as a beginner you do not do not need to worry about all of these things we just have to understand how this tool and this code structure work first of all see our files that uh, when we create any Xcode new project the Xcode generates specific files for us as a boilerplating okay so this is app delegate file which is the main application file this is one view controller it is generating by itself it's a main storyboard and the launching uh, launch screen and the info field list file where we define all of our configurations first of all what we need to do we need to add icons we need to add fonts and we need to set up a complete project so we can go and start making the design of this course so as I already told you that I have exported all of the assets for you by myself and I'll be giving these assets to you in, in uh, through a link in the description of this video and we can go first and in the navigator in the name of the project we can go to the assets folder and there we can see that this requires an app icon 
and we can add multiple icons or whatever we want and images colors there so first we can add a logo there this bring your uh, bring, bring your folder there here in front of it and drag and drop to this uh, inspector and your icon will be added yes, we can, we're gonna do same for these icons we can select them all and we're gonna put it into it you can see that this is already selected and we can put all the icons there now we're gonna do the app icon so if I click on app icon you see app icon is not a single file it is a collection of multiple files of multiple different sizes so that the app icon can look great and we can show different size of icons for multiple reasons for example on the notification on the setting screen on the spotlight for the app icon and a different kind of notification for the TV or maybe for the Apple uh, mo mobile app or multiple screens so to generate this app icon I have a very amazing tool called Iconfly so in Iconfly I, I can just add my icon with 1024 1024 pixels and we can just select I iOS and generate and it is going to generate all the files needed for me for app icon and then we can export these files and then we can export these files to any folder we want and it is going to generate this specific folder where we can have the sizes all all the required sizes of the app icons so we can also add these app icon just by dragging and dropping it to the Xcode and we can just select drag and drop and if we are going to drag and drop these files here it is going to automatically place all the files to their required position you can see that all the icons that are required are been there and all icon sizes which are not required have been rejected so we are gonna not gonna touch these files we don't need them right now we can simply remove these files because most of these files are just for some other purposes we are gonna jump right into it later in the section then one more section left is the fonts now the fonts files are different we have to add the fonts files and their folder in the corresponding project so go to your file inspector go to your project and right click a new group you need to make okay and you can name the group fonts and in that fonts you can drag and drop your files you can select all of these files you can select them and just right under your project just under, under your folder you can add these files no need to make the reference you can add the creator groups okay So all of your fonts have been added so right now your project is set up to go one more thing we need to do later in the project is to make or is to add colors from your sketch to your Xcode so we can also do that but we are gonna do that differently as you know that we have this asset file asset folder so in that we can have all kind of assets we can make colors here but I want to keep everything arranged and separated so we can add this kind of assets folder separately only for colors so we can do right click we can do new file and we can go to this asset catalog so 
we can name this colors so you can see that it is it has created one more asset catalog but it names as colors so we will uh, we uh, we can know that this is only for colors but it's uh, it is just a name we can add anything here but we are going to use this folder for only for colors now if we go to our sketch back again and we can see that we have one two three four five kind of colors so we're going to select these colors for example for this background primary color you can see that in the fill section i got this hexa code so I, i'm going to copy that i'm going to go back to my x code i'm going to add that color set here i'm going to name it primary color I'm going to name it primary color. Now I'm going to change the hexadecimal code for this. To do that, you can click on the color. You can go to this inspector and you can go to color section and then you have to select input method as 8 bit hexadecimal. And now you can paste this color here. So you can see that the color has been changed here also and we can use it globally in any of the files now we have to do this for all of the colors for example the color for this button to select this button see so we have the color of this button here we can do the same we can go we can add color set we can add secondary color you can select you can change the hexadecimal code second color we're gonna quickly do that for all of the colors you can see that this banner also has a very light color so we're gonna use that we're gonna name it as primary light color because it is related to primary color it looks the same but these are different colors we are gonna check the color for these icons We can name it whatever we want. Uh, we're going to name it uh, icon color. I think we haven't copied the proper color from here. Oh, it is the same color and uh, the last color we need is this one So I have named it as a task selected color. We can name it whatever we want. So in this course actually I'm going to say something to you guys. Our main focus is to go as a beginner because that is why I'm not adding too much details here. I'm just going to go 
and keep you as like keep you running for this project and you can understand whatever we are doing how the project has been made and how uh, as a beginner you can start doing iOS development or Swift development okay and I'm not gonna jump right into the details of everything why we're gonna do this why uh, why all of this project is going on because this is this course is only for beginners so I have added the colors and this project is right right now fully set up to go for further development thank you see you in the next video